Hey everyone, Garbage here. Here's something interesting that happens in a lot of first person shooters. In this example, I'm aiming my crosshair at this trash can lid, and when I shoot, the projectile hits the lid, causing it to spin. However, when we look at it from a different perspective, we now see the projectile hitting the floor but somehow it's still interacting with the trash can lid, making it spin. You're probably aware that in first person shooters, there's the player's full body model, which other people can see, and then a view model that is usually just a pair of floating arms and a gun. And that is only visible in first person. From the outside, the full body model appears to hold the gun at waist height, but in first person, the gun is at about eye level, and so there's a mismatch between where the bullet originates in the full body model versus the view model. To explain this, you have to realize that usually in video games, things like bullet tracers and weapon animations are purely cosmetic, while the real bullet that interacts with the game's physics is invisible. And so it's entirely possible to have the full body model and the view model do two completely different things for aesthetic purposes without affecting the actual gameplay. Now this is useful in a lot of different ways. For example, in Overwatch, Genji's full body model does a flip whenever he double jumps. However, this would make people very dizzy in first person, and so from the player's perspective, he stays upright the entire time. Not every game is like this. I know DayZ and the Armor games, both made by the same company, use a single full body model for both first person and outside perspectives, but this is relatively rare because it means the gun is usually held at about waist height out of the player's view unless they're actively aiming down sights, which goes against the conventions of modern first person shooters where the gun is visible at all times. However, it does help with immersion because you're able to see your body in first person, which makes it feel more like you're actually in the game. I'm sure there are other games that use only a single full body model, feel free to let me know what they are in the comments below, but don't say PUBG because I'm fairly certain that game does not use a single model. But yeah, hope you learned something today, like, subscribe and bell, links to my second gaming channel, my Twitter and everything else down below, and as always, have a nice day.